Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a series, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. In this tutorial, we will see how to control our Node MCU or ESP8266 by sending messages with Facebook Messenger. We will use three web services and connect them together. I advise you to watch first the video about the uh, Adafruit MQTT server and how to send an email. We need to create a Facebook page to the communication with the Node MCU. When I will write the message on or off to the page, the chatbot managed by the site ChatFuel will send a HTTP request to the site IFTTT. This one will send a request to the Adafruit MQTT server. The Node MCU is uh, subscribed to the feed and will be updated every time the MQTT server gets a new value. It seems complicated, but you will not write any code. Just follow the video and it will be very easy. I created a Facebook account and a page to my Node MCU. Next, go to the site chatfuel.com and connect with the Facebook account. This site will answer to the user talking to the Node MCU. It is called a chatbot. We will program it so if uh, it receives on or off, it will send a request to the site ifttt.com. This is a work message shown when anyone wants to communicate with the chatbot. You can modify it. You need to connect your bot to the page. Now we will create a block that sends a request when on or off is typed. We will be back later to fill uh, the blocks information of the post request. I will add a block to be displayed after sending the request to IFTTT. Now I'm defining uh, the accepted words that will trigger uh, the lighting of the LED. I chose three, but you can do more. Here I'm selecting the block on followed by the generic answer. I will do the same for the words to switch off the LED. The IFTTT service accepts a HTTP request with this format. You will find it in the description. I need to put the key, the event name and the value. For that I will create an applet. I advise you to see the video how to send an email.
For testing, I will send that to myself an email every time the user types on or off. I will create a new applet now between the webhook service and the gmail service. I will keep only uh, value 1. Now I will copy the event name, the key and the value into the HTTP request. This is my key. I'm copying the URL to the on block. In the block of, I will just change the value 1. Now I will make a test. You can send a message to your page and see if uh, writing on or off will trigger uh, the send of uh, the email. These are all all the messages. As you can see, I got a message from my own mailbox. This means that our HTTP request is perfect and the communication between ChatFuel and IFTTP is working well. Now, I will create a feed on the Adafruit servers. Don't use the spaces or any special character in the name of the feed. Now I will create a new applet to connect the webhook service to the Adafruit MPTT server.
select the right field name and uh, the data to save. Now let's see if the message on or off is sent to the MQTT server. It's working, super. One more test with off. Now we can program our node MCU to connect to the MQTT server. We already saw how to do that. Here we will need the username and the key. I will create a string variable where I will put uh, the last value of my field. According to that, I will decide to switch on or off the internal LED.
this is our program now I will uh, upload it uh, to the board and test As you can see, I'm sending different possibilities. Meanwhile, the LED is switching on or and off. There is also a display on the serial monitor. And this is the result when I use my mobile phone. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.